Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? And we're just gonna jump right in to see what is coming towards you in love. Spirits and just guides. Messages, guidance please for Virgo in love Oops. for Virgo in love spirit who's coming towards Virgo in love what do we need to know sensitive responsive and perceptive number 11 okay what else who's coming towards Virgo in love this could be a water sign leap I say that and then I take out the Libra card okay Libra number 22 interesting 11 and 22 now, this is also like the Justice card because the uh, Major Arcana for Libra is Justice. Uh, what I'm getting here, and I know this, I mean, obviously air energy, these two go together, etc. But what I'm getting is that this is somebody that is almost like a, um, uh, very balanced in the sense of they have... A sensitivity to them but there's more than that almost like um like not two sides of this person but like there's more to them than meets the eye there's something else there like they have um two really good qualities that even themselves out that's kind of what I'm getting here Whoever this is, they um, they see things about you that maybe someone else wouldn't, or they make comments that are very perceptive. You know, they they notice things that others probably haven't. So this could be somebody that gives you really unique compliments or says some really thoughtful things. They could be very cerebral. This person, maybe they're very like logical, analytical. We'll see what else we get. What else can you tell me for Virgo? Could be dealing with a Libra as well. This could be a Libra. Or it could just be somebody very level-headed, you know, that kind of energy. What's coming towards Virgo in love? What else do we need to know? What's coming towards Virgo? Wow, okay. Wedding bells and love letter. Wedding bells are ringing. A special message is on its way. Bottom of the deck, lasting promise. So this could be something that leads to a long-term commitment. I'm hoping that this person isn't already married. Um, but yeah, with love letter, you know, and I, I really feel like this person might be very upfront about what they want very direct what else do we need to know for Virgo what else do we need to know for Virgo what else do we need to know Actually, let me just do a couple who or what is coming towards Virgo in love Let's see what we got Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups reversed, Three of Swords, Ace of Wands. Very interesting. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Okay, I can't wait to dig in here and find out what this is about. Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. That's great. So why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Cups. Hmm. Clarity, please, for Virgo. My God, the three of swords showed wanted to come out there too. Okay, let's let's get to the bottom of this. Tell me about the seven of cups.
Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Somebody doesn't know what to do. There's options, choices, but they don't know what to do. Which way to go? There's the first scale. Why am I picking up this energy? I, I'm picking up weird energy, but I don't understand why. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can understand it the more I clarify here, but right now all I could tell you is something's a bit off, which is weird because this started off so good. Why is somebody out in the cold? What's this two of swords about? Why is this two of swords here? So this is an offer that someone's debating. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So interesting. I really hope this isn't one of those readings where it's like someone's living a lie. Because. Ace of Swords, so no. Someone's not, there's clarity here. Page of Cups. Seven of Cups again. So this is somebody that's trying to figure out how to say something without getting rejected. So why would they get rejected? This looks like a good offer. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands is here. Why are the Three of Swords? What is going on? Queen of Swords. Okay, let's keep going and see, and I'll see what else I get here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Okay, so this Queen of Cups might be a bit upset because there's something off here with the Five of Swords. Wow, this took a turn. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Okay, I say this took a turn and there's the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and then the Devil, Capricorn Energy. I instantly think of Karma with these two together. There's that Six of Pentacles again. I'm telling you, there's something off here. And I'm not sure what I'm missing, but I'm missing something. <laughs> Because I feel like this is, you know, and now I'm starting to think that someone possibly is married. Possibly in a karmic partnership. Okay, tell me about the Three of Swords. And it's almost like whoever's in a bad situation might be thinking how can they get out of this situation five of pentacles ten of cups where is the end of the rainbow where's their rainbow i have two rainbows here with the seven of cups and this ten of cups it's like how can i be happy how can i make how can i turn this around you know but there's uncertainty here block with two of swords tell me about the three of swords hold on let me focus tell me about the three of swords okay more indecision Tell me about the Three of Swords. I'm trying to think that this Libra card is meant to be just a back and forth. King of Wands. Okay, can I get one more for this Three of Swords? The Empress and the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups at the bottom. Someone's doubting how something's going to turn out. The future is a problem, or maybe someone doesn't feel the future is very bright. I think that this is someone choosing between two people. Yeah, four of wands. Someone already has a home, I believe. Or this is, I mean, I'm, I mean, if we give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe this is their goal. Stability, peace, domestic bliss, a sweet partnership right but I have a feeling that there's more to this tell me about the two of Pentacles 
What's this choice about? For Virgo, what's this choice about? That's Six of Pentacles again. Someone is trying to decide which will be the best option here because they're, they're two very different options. So when I see the Six of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles, I think of one or the other. So two very different options, very similar to the Two of Wands. But it's like with the Six of Pentacles, I get this energy of having and not having, right? having and not having, the have and the have nots. So I'm picturing a scale here where one side of the scale is really good and the other one isn't great. So I feel like whoever's making this decision, they have to make a decision between like one or the other and one choice is way better than the other. I hope I'm explaining that right. Tell me more about this two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? Strength, Leo energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, this is a third party situation. Why doesn't that feel, I mean, I feel like th that might not be all of it. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. The truth. The investigator. So if I have the five of swords. Someone's finding out or figuring out and is very upset at what they're finding out. And it's turning things around. This wheel is turning and it's changing things. Tell me about the ace of wands. What's this about? The sun. Yeah, this is clarity. Tell me about the ace of wands. There's justice and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. So I feel like someone's like, yeah, this is a whole new cycle. Hmm. Libra energy could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. It does not have to be. This is what I'm seeing. Let me just wrap this up in a way that makes sense. I feel like even though I'm explaining this to you now, Virgo, keep in mind, I'm missing something still. And I, because this is a bonus reading, I'm not going to keep jumping into details here. Um, but I could tell you that this is a situation where in the near future, what's coming towards you is a big decision, either you or the person you're dealing with a big decision. And the decision is very black and white in a way. There's no having it both ways. One option is way better than the other. If someone decides to cut loose and have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, I feel like this would lead to something long term and something very positive and fair and balanced, right? But I feel like someone's not quite sure about that. That decision would require courage of some sort because that decision um, would have to be a decision that um, in the end, it will lead to happiness and success. But at the time that the decision is made, it's going to cause pain. It's going to be a difficult decision. So even though this decision looks great, someone's not sure. Because I feel like having happiness will also bring about difficulty. So it's almost like a both choice. The, the choice is not going to be easy. It's going to the choice is have what you want and suffer the consequences. <laughs> or don't have what you want and be unhappy forever. That kind of energy. I'm hoping this isn't you making this decision, but I think someone's figuring out that, it's almost like they're figuring out that there's something fishy going on. You know, and I feel like this is the third person, this Queen of Cups reverse. And they're not happy. Or this could be the person that is very unhappy right now. And whatever they're thinking about, it's not, it's going to screw over someone else, basically. And I feel like time here is of the essence. Uh, I feel like someone's feeling the, the, someone knows what's coming. That's why the Seven of Wands is here. They, they know they're going to have to fight for this. And there's a long-term commitment here. And I feel like this sensitive energy with the Libra energy here, it's like someone's trying to 
almost like um, use their intuition, their senses of perception to really find that inner balance. So that's what I'm, I have coming up, Virgo. I hope that this reading resonated or made sense to you. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. I'd love to have you, and that way you can get new videos from me um, straight to your subscription feed. Thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments, and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.